She's gonna look like a clown by the end of this. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This pose is not very dainty for a princess. So, uh, we're just gonna have to work with it. You know, so far he looks like chocolate. <laughs> so now we're just gonna make made cafe outfit. So, uh, we're just gonna turn her into a cat. Looks my turn. What's up y'all? So today I'm going to be redesigning your characters by throwing them into an alternate universe. And that's because we are celebrating 2k subs on this channel and I hosted a draw this in your style to celebrate and y'all made some beautiful art of my alien girl OC Poppy. So in return I'm going to have some fun with your characters. So I already picked 10 winners and I am going to start by first redrawing their character and then redesigning their character. Starting with the first original character, Raspberry Jam. Very nice. And this is their OC. Very cute, I have to say. And honestly, a pretty easy outfit to draw. So I'm just gonna whip something out real quick. Now that I have this done, it's time to throw her into an alternate universe and i have a list of universes i want to do but i'm not sure how to make it kind of randomized what i just came up with a really good idea i don't know if it's gonna work <laughs> if i just fold it ta-da a fortune teller i am so smart See, it's got colors and then the different which one it is. Looks my turn. And I also found a number generator and as well as a color picker. Let's get the ball rolling. Generate two. One, two. And for color, green. Uh, pick a different color. <laughs> I don't have green. Green? Green. Blue, okay. <laughs> Under the sea. So I'm pretty much just gonna keep her colors the same while I do this. So, look at her body, <laughs> move it over. And since she is under the sea, mermaid? <laughs> oh, I think that could work. Be like a purple mermaid. That could be cool. Oh yeah. It's got a little sassy tail. <laughs> it looks perfect. <laughs> Maybe she she needs like, cause she's holding a purse. So I'm like, oh, what can she hold? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> no idea. Honestly, with her color palette, maybe she's gonna be like Ursula's sister or something. Maybe she's holding a fish. <laughs> oh, she's gonna be holding something. No idea. I'm gonna get a new hairdo because it's underwater. So everything goes. Whee! <laughs> I can't forget her antennas because it's kind of important, you know. I don't know how this tail thing is gonna work. <laughs> Maybe I'll just have it be like goes with the tail fin. Oh my goodness, since she's like part of the deep, maybe I'll have like the antenna things like glowing. That could be cool. Attract the fishies, you can eat them. Oh, I need to erase the legs. <laughs> oh my goodness. Cause she ain't got no legs now, she's a mermaid. I actually think I need to switch the orientation of this. Nice. And she needs more gold. I give her some chains. Oh yeah, she definitely needs hoops. Yeah. I think we'll call that good. <laughs> okay, moving on to the next character. We've got Jenny Vera Art. Their character, Soren, pasty boy. And now I am just going to draw the actual dude. Now that we have this guy done, let's grab our fortune cookie, fortune teller, and generate eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we pick what color. Indigo? Purple? That's probably more purple. And we got purple, so 
and we got tree hugger now whenever i think of tree hugger i always think of hippie but in this case i think i want to go more in like forest elf or something so i'm pretty much just copying the base again moving it over so because it's all tree huggery uh i'm probably gonna have to add some green in here but we can definitely use this brown color let's just start with some pants because pretty important you know and i definitely want to give him some elf ears sure give him some long boys i want the blue in there so i'll just give him like a basic tank top actually i don't like the tank top i think i think i'm just gonna make him mostly brown and then have like accents of blue and yellow i think i want to make the pants lighter you know so far he looks like chocolate <laughs> Have some blue underneath it. I'm gonna give him some long hair because elves are majestic. But I think I'm gonna keep the like sideburn thing. Oh, maybe I'll have like these braided. And I definitely need some green, but limited color palettes. Kind of stuck on that one. Let's add some yellow because. We need that. I made this a little bit more yellow green. That might be close enough. Nice. He kind of looks like a wooden elf, but I think he needs more like leaves and stuff. I think I should just add in the green, a gradient of green. Yeah, yeah. And he's done. Let's move on to the next character, Philippa Thomas Art, her character. She got a Fire Nation outfit. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So we just gotta draw her first. And now we can get on to redesigning her. So, and now let's generate. First number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And a killer. Purple. Okay. Disney Princess. This is gonna be great. And you're just gonna copy and paste the same thing. This pose is not very dainty for a princess, so uh, we're just gonna have to work with it. First thing first, throw a dress on top. I don't think this character is meant to be a princess, but it's a new universe, so it's how we roll. She kind of looks like a villain, <laughs> just because she has a, a, an attitude. I'm just gonna throw some hair on top because I'm important, you know? And because she's a princess, she totally has to be, have an updo. And I think I'm gonna change her hand, so I'm gonna have her hold, like, a flower. Let's do some accents for the dress. Maybe we should do something with the brown. I'm becoming a fashion designer, y'all. You know? She got some chains. <laughs> okay, maybe not chains. We'll, we'll, we'll keep the chains. We'll keep the chains. Okay, this doesn't look that bad. Maybe I'll put the fire symbol on the actual dress. Or maybe just add flames to the dress. That sounds cool. Now that flaming dress. Mmm. Delicious. Yeah. And she's done. Princess achieved. Okay, next character. Character is by Ye Draws and her name is darcy very cute and now we just need to draw her so okay drawing done now we got to pick the new universe she we're throwing her in okay first the number generator three one two three and now the color picker green i still don't have green green blue why do you keep getting blue and purple you know let, let's pick a different color Green, green, red, perfect. I have red. Let's do red. Oh, we got cyberpunk, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, because it's cyberpunk, she definitely needs. I don't know. I don't know what she needs. I think I'll turn this into a green hoodie. Oh, wait. I can bring her a big puffer jacket. That that will look. And then she's gonna have robotic legs. Yes. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, 
that was asking details through the Rebrash page. Cyberpunk is my favorite, so I'm having a lot of noise. And we also gotta give her some hair. Maybe I'll have her like with some fun pigtails that are like big and fluffy. Perfect. And she is Dawn. And now we move on to the next character, Rintastic character. Uh, I think she's a dragon. I don't know. Let's just whip one out real quick and bam. And now we move on to picking the universe. Okay, first the number 10. Okay. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And the color. Green. Green. Why can't I get yellow? You know what? I'm just I'm just gonna pick yellow. And we got a pirate. Hopefully that goes well. Okay. First of all, she clearly needs a hat. It could be one of those taco looking hats. Give her a skirt maybe. Actually, I'm gonna do one of those classic pirate paints. <laughs> Maybe she needs a tattoo. Nice. And she needs a weapon because pirates are outlaws. Perfect. And she's done. On to the next character. This character is by Tenshi Art. 24. Pretty cool looking. Wait. What? What is this? What is this in the middle? Is that fabric or like part of the pants? I'm, I'm just say it's part of the pants let's draw him now we're gonna throw him into a universe so let's generate our number eight one two three four five six seven eight in our color yellow well now we get yellow arabian nights let's get it i mean honestly he already kind of looks like one i guess we gotta go even more overboard i think we'll start because he already has a cloak thing i'll just cover his whole head up. He has his head scarf. He's gonna be the demon boy of the desert. Yeah. Now I gotta figure out what to do with his uh, everything else. I don't know if I want to leave him shirtless or not. We'll keep the belt but like make it longer and then give him the same pants ish but like make them go all the way to yeah like that all the way to the ground. And then I'll have his arms like wrapped up more. Maybe I'll give him some some chest bandages. And then I give him some gold accents. And some gold bangles. I think I'm gonna give him tattoos. <laughs> Cause why not? And now I gotta give him a sword. Cause he's got one here, but we just gotta make it look like a cool sword. Gotta make it fit the desert vibe. I want to go with one of the sickles. Oh, and I forgot to add his tail. <laughs> That's kind of important. Perfect. Demon of the desert. Noise. Moving on to the next character, and this is by Kitty Middies. And I think this is a female character, but she's got nail polish. So let's just draw her real quick. And it looks like she's got some, some cool wangs. I think they're like crystal wings. Okay, with the character done, now we just throw them into a new universe. And first, the number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Followed by the color blue. Steampunk. I think this is a fantasy character, so um, we'll see how this goes. And yeah. Steampunk. Oh boy. So clearly she's all basically yellow. Kind of fits in with the steampunk vibe. So they're all pretty dark colors, so I might just have the yellow be the accent. So I might just give her like a corset top. Then I think I'm gonna give her like a fun like skirt, like steampunk skirt. Give her a bow. And then I know give her either like something like that or just give her really tall boots or both gotta add some gears in here somewhere at some point okay let's let's throw some hair on top 
and I really like her hair as is. So I might just take the same thing but modify it a little bit more. Maybe I'll just uh, give her a messy bun. Okay, now let's actually add some steampunk accents because they're very important. Very, very, very important. Well, she has wings, so I gotta slap some wings on her, you know? I honestly think I'll just do some mechanical wings. Okay, now we're done. Okay, next character, and we've got, it's either pie chart or peach art. One of those. And this is their character. She's pretty cool. She's very tall. Let's draw her. Okay, now that she's done, we gotta pick the universe. So, number five. One, two, three, four, five. And color red. Okay, Cat's Cafe. Oh no! Nice. So now we're just gonna make made cafe outfit. So uh, we're just gonna turn her into a cat. This is actually kind of perfect because her colors work out pretty well. A basic maid outfit, because that's what I think of when I think of cat cafe. Give her the poofy sleeves. Yeah, she's very nice. I think I'm just gonna give her some knee-high socks because those are cute. She's got some basic shoes on. She's looking pretty boring right now. Kinda gotta spice her up a little bit. And what better way of doing that than going right in and uh, adding the cat ears? <laughs> Ta-da! No, I need to do the hair first. Let's do the hair first. Yeah, I, I, think, I think that's successful. I like that, I like that. And then we also gotta give her an apron. Cause that's important as a maid. At a cat cafe. <gasps> we can't forget her ears. That's very, very important. I feel like I'm ruining all your guys' characters. <laughs> but it's okay, this is all for fun. Boys, okay, we need to give her a tail. Cause that's pretty important. Okay, I do need to give her some of her lavender colors because she's like a just very plain black and white. I like the translucent look, so I'll just do the same thing with this. Nice! Next character is Maya, which is made by Mulch Soot. She's pretty cool, she got some green hair. I like, I like. And let's get on to drawing her. Okay! Now that she is done, she looks freaking adorable. And uh, we gotta throw her into a new universe. Now there's only two more left. So uh, hopefully this last one will be able to find the last one. Fingers crossed. Okay, so number generator. Let's do this. Two. One, two. Okay, and for the color, red. Medieval Knight. Wow. Maya is is gonna be slang. And she's already slang, so this is gonna be great. Oh my goodness, this is actually kind of perfect because it looks like she's holding something and I could just throw a sword in her hand. Perfect. Gotta put some armor on this girl. And she's just gonna have purple armor. Sometimes you gotta do what she gotta do. I gotta have some big arm pieces because Knight's head. Because she's a knight, she's gotta be slain. Stefan needs a breastplate of some sort. Getting cute. And then we'll put some armor on her legs. Because that's also important. Importante. Maybe some hip padding. Wouldn't hurt. You know, she's kind of looking like cyberpunk at this point. Yeah. Okay, let's let's take this color and we're just gonna put it underneath everything. You know what, she's looking less medieval. I don't know. Maybe she looks fine. She's gonna look fine. Taking guessing myself. What am I thinking? Oh, maybe I give her some straps. Her we need to throw in her hair. She looks too dainty to be throwing around the sword. Okay, I just realized I didn't give her any white. She's got white on hers. Maybe just make all of her armor white. Or I could just give her a cape. Oh, and I gotta add her hair. That's kind of important. I 
think I'm gonna have her hair be like in a bun. Or I can give her a ponytail. What should I do? Ponytail or a bun? I think I've already done two buttons already, so I'm going to do ponytail. Ooh, yeah, ponytail, that, that was the right one. Heart rate! Okay, she is done! We got our medieval knight. Okay, now we are at the final and last character, which is Pencil Pouch's character. Pretty cute, pretty cute. And um, because they're the last character, I've only got one last one, which is Candyland. That's how we gon' do. Okay, last and final character, and it's kind of ironic that, uh, cause she's carrying some vegetables, and uh, now she's moving to a Candyland. So, <laughs> let's see how this goes. Also, the colors are uh, not very Candyland colors, so I'm really gonna have to work on that. Okay, so maybe because she has different colors and stuff, like the only thing I could think of is like gumballs. <laughs> maybe I could give her like a gumball skirt, <laughs> like a gumball machine kind of thing, and then take the red from the shoes and like turn it into a top, and then just I think turn her arms into candy canes because that's like the easiest thing you can do. Grab some stripes and, uh, yeah, do that. Okay, let's put some gumballs in. It looks really funny, I can say that. And she's got pink in her hat. So maybe I could, like, do, like, frosting or something. Like, for her legs. She's gonna look like a clown by the end of this. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You know, she could look cool. She could look cool. Okay, and since she has brown hair, I think I'm just gonna turn it into licorice. Does anyone like licorice? Not bad. Uh, definitely can do some work. But uh, she needs she needs something else. She needs like how she has a hat over here. She needs something else on top of her head. Maybe I can give her a bow. No. Honestly, maybe I just put like a cupcake on her head. <laughs> the cherry on top. And we can have her holding a lollipop. Perfect. And she's done. Now let's show off the final results of all these characters. Thank you to all of those who participated in my Draw This In Your Style. It was very fun to draw your characters and I hope you enjoyed. Let me know how I did doing these redesigns and uh, which one is your favorite. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Is that it? Are we done? We done? I think it's done.